Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. Hey. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Radio Shack, model number 2669, and we're going to do a daytime medium wave band scan. So current time is 2.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'd like to go over the features of the radio, a little size comparison, then we'll start tuning the band. Uh, this radio is AM, FM, and shortwave, which is really cool. Um, on the features, uh, let's see, anything on the left? Nope. Anything on the right? We have a volume control. Looks like we have a wrist strap connection. We have a lock switch there. Nice. Front, we have a nice large LCD, easy to read, with a clock there showing uh, 12 hours. Uh, here we have a power button, band select button, memory, and up and down tuning. We have programming, time setting feature, and scan feature. We have a little speaker here. Didn't quite measure that guy. Let's take a quick little measurement of that. I want to say it's like an inch, inch and a quarter. It's little. It's inch and a quarter. <laughs> Actually, it sounds pretty decent, believe it or not. Uh, Radio Shack emblem on the back here. We have the frequency. You can just make it out. AM is 530 to 1710, FM 88 to 108, and shortwave is 2.3 to 26.1, but it's probably divided into bands, so you're not going to have continuous coverage. Runs on two AAA batteries. They're behind this little battery compartment, which is pretty, pretty easy to open. I kind of wish the batteries were bigger, but I think what they went with the slim design, so they couldn't really incorporate AA batteries into this. So for size comparison, I have really cool Elite Mini by Eaton. This is their new version. It's pretty much just a color change. And you can see here the differences. The Elite Mini also runs on two AAA batteries. It doesn't have any memories. This does have memories. So there you are. And then next, a nice little comparison is the Hanranga HRD 737. This is an AM FM shortwave CB, uh, let's see, VHF low, VHF high, uh, and airband. So this does everything in a little package. I'll give you an idea. Size comparison. Now it runs on its own little dedicated rechargeable battery, but that gives you an idea. Size comparison there. These little shirt pocket shortwave radios are a lot of fun. Right. So, oh, can't forget Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. So there you go. Definitely a taller radio. Um, so there you are. Okay, still like the thin profile. It's nice. Okay. Oh yeah, and I had my uh, change handy over here. You kind of get an idea with how big that looks like. All right. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on and we'll do a daytime scan. I have no idea what to expect. I was only listening to local stations during the day. During the nighttime, though, I was picking up a lot of decent stations. So let's go. Turn this on. I am located near Chicago. Our volume control here. I think I showed that to you. Yep. Okay. So, oh yeah, and the retractable antenna headphone jack up on top. Didn't show you that. So they got the retractable antenna. We got our headphones there. Okay. So that's pretty much the only tuning is right here. On the Eaton you have a uh, tuning wheel and you also have the tuning buttons. Kind of like that in the mini. This is 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I'm already liking this radio compared to the Eaton Mini during the day. This AM's a little bit better. Excellent. Without the use of toxic chemicals, designed to last for years, it will save you a ton of money. 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois. A little bit of a ringtone there. Let's, uh, we can take the Skywave out just to double check to see if I'm picking it up on on that, let me just uh, enter in 560 here and see if that ringtone happens on it. Pestfree.com, promo code, save 20. Don't spray and regret, plug in and forget. Balance of nature, changing the world one life at a time. 
while I'm searching for the perfect balance. So we got a little bit of birdie tones happening on the Radio Shack model. I'll keep that Skywave handy just to double check if we need to. This is kind of exciting. I'm actually hearing uh, WILL, Urbana, Illinois, which is 150 miles away. I want to say the uh, Eaton Mini couldn't pick that up. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, just picking up hints of uh, WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Just a hint of it. You probably can't make it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a loop down and see if we can't uh, pick up anything extra with it. I'm just going to put a couple up there. There's a Texan AN200. Just going to bring it out here and... I think the ferrite would be towards the top. I'm just gonna put this in the middle here. I have not taken apart the radio to check. The ferrite might be right about here. Okay, so you definitely have to raise that radio up when you're using the loop. Put the loop off the side. Bring it back if we need it. Let's keep going. Let's cover. Jeez, jammed all the way up. 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Are you looking for new ideas for your company's green initiatives and improving your sustainability? A little bit of that ringtone still. Didn't notice it much in the evening. Okay, WMFN, Pietone, Illinois, on 640. I'm a Geico customer, and they have been saving people like myself money on car insurance for over 75 years. WSCR, the score, Chicago, Illinois, 670, uh, home of the Cubs. Savings on more than just car insurance. Geico has a 97% customer satisfaction rating. Geico even offers... Talked to him in the last hour from the WGN Weather Center about some things that are atypical about it. We're joined now by Nancy Dignett, who is a Florida based media. 720 WGN Chicago. Just a slight bit of birdie tone there. Talk with us also about Dorian. Nancy, welcome to the show. Thanks for sharing part of your Labor Day. Me WNDZ, Port Geniana. And the FBI for being fired from his job at the Journey Oil Field. WBBM, Chicago, Illinois. Shooting began. Police gunned down a tour to end the shooting rampage. Meantime, I just wondered if public, and, I, and I'm not indicting education in any way. 820 WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, 37 miles. To really critically think about. More of that ringtone definitely coming from the radio. So the fact is that too many members of the Democratic Party consider the WLS Chicago, and this ringing is coming from the camera. Tim Ryan, who's a congressperson from Ohio, is now running for president. Another one. WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. These stations here are definitely uh, tunable. Um, these smaller radios, I, their ferrite antenna must be rather small. So I'm going to just do the sky wave here and see what it picks up on 940. Okay. 
Okay, so that's 940 uh, WFAW Fort Atkinson on the short, short wave. Sorry, the sky wave. Short wave. Hello. Okay, this one. You can just make it out. Just. So not super impressed so far. But in the evening, like I said, it really woke up. Typical. Same with the Elite Mini. This thing rather disappointed me during the day. It did okay on the, the daytime stations, but evening it woke up. So I'm assuming that this Radio Shack is going to do the same thing. I do like this display. Uh, this is uh, WHA, Madison, Wisconsin. This is WMVP, Chicago, Illinois. Well, might be on something else if he feels that strongly about Jacksonville. Here's the thing, if you look at Jacksonville, the receiving course changed a little bit, but I think D.D. Westbrook's just going to be good. It's free of birdie tones, and sounds pretty good. WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. More birdie tones here on 1050. This is WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay, so you can hear that birdie tone is not as at all there on the sky wave. Let's keep tuning. There's something coming in here. I doubt uh, a loop would help, but uh, Benton Harbor, Michigan, 95 miles away. I guess I could bring a loop in just to check. There we go. Some music there on WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, 95 miles away, with a little help with the passive loop. About the loop, pretty much nothing. <laughs> okay, keep going. WTSO Mass from Wisconsin. I usually use my bigger radios like the, uh, let's see, I got it handy. I look at my radios handy. My XH Data D808. I use this for uh, medium wave. It's a great radio for medium wave. Awesome. Cat was running around here. <laughs> it's a cat here. All right, let's keep rolling. Oh, that's horrible. A little bit more birdie there. A little higher pitched. WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. And 10 here is WMBI, Chicago, Illinois. Strong station here, WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Picking up nice. No rain tone, which is good. <laughs> I expect so much from my thin radio. I will five times. In Isaiah 15, here's what he said. I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne. I will sit in a throne on the mountain. Uh, W-Y-L-L, Chicago, Illinois, Christian Radio. Yeah, we hear a lot of religious broadcasts on shortwave, but it's not quite as... Uh, <laughs> crazy on the AM band, which is good. <laughs> so the short wave, man, it's just like end of the world's coming every two seconds. All right, let's see if we can get the squirrel. 1180 here. Okay, got a low tone here on WSQR. It's a bummer. 
usually listen to my music here on the Squirrel, Sycamore, Illinois. Typical reception, though. WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. Just picking that up. WCLO, Jamesville, Wisconsin. And for those who are thinking, you know, Todd, take ticket outside, you'll get better reception. I do very slightly. It's not huge, though, believe it or not. Um, when I start my videos here, everything gets turned off. Um, I hit circuit breakers in the house to make sure um, on certain circuits, and there's just nothing transmitting. Um, so there's nothing obstructing these signals, which is good. So when I go outside and I double check, pretty much I get similar results. So just want to give you a heads up. Uh, it's on the medium wave. Short wave, a little different story. Got to go outside or have a wire for that. If you want good reception indoors. All right, let's keep rolling. I don't know if I gave you the call letters. 1240 is WSBC, Chicago. <clears throat> My voice is going. <laughs> keep rolling along here. Uh, another plague birdie tone here on 1280. Not a station I listen to, but it's there. Expect to pick that up. Thirteen hundred WRDZ Lagrange, Illinois. The pretty turn on thirteen ten WIBA Madison, Wisconsin. I'm just hoping his radio in the evening will do better. So, um, <laughs> if you're interested in that video, I'll have it. Uh, Along with this one. Okay, 1330s mixing uh, Rockford and Evanston. Uh, typically WNTA or WKTA. Here's WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. Okay, I'm getting good music there. Okay, WBL. Excuse me, W B E L, South Beloit, Illinois. Uh, pretty awesome that I'm picking that up because I wasn't picking up any music on 1180, so I can always go to 1380. Sweet. Thirteen ninety W G R B, Chicago, Illinois. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know what's sweet about it, but it's cool. Okay, we got music on WRJN. We're seeing Wisconsin. Some oldies. My shopping station has a ringtone to it. No! WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. Yeah, they have the shopping network or radio shopping. You can buy like tickets to stuff and everything on here. <laughs> Darn it. FM works good on this radio. <laughs> I'm really hoping the evening is going to be better. I think it will. It's WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. That's two E's. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So tiny volume we all see that 
It's a little tiny volume wheel. I keep fidgeting with it. All right. I do have to thank Jennifer from California for donating the radio, though I do enjoy having the radio. Didn't have to purchase it. It was a donation. Thank you again, Jennifer. Didn't mention that real quick. I forgot to in the beginning. You guys are still here watching. <laughs> you guys are diehards. Diehard. Awesome. <laughs> Good movie. Movies. What's your favorite Die Hard movie? Put it down below. I think mine was the first one, the original. I think the one was it. Uh, forgot what it was. Live Free or Die Hard. That was, that was a good one. All right, so this is 1490. Country music, not picking up anything. Just barely. WPJX, Zion, Illinois. I'm surprised to hear anything. Typically, it's harder to get. Get through this band pretty quickly here. Curious how this is going to spiral a loop. Pick it up a little bit. So, yeah, if you're a pretty diehard radio listener like I am, if you have one of these laying around, you could use it during the day. Not bad. Loving it. It's good that it works with that. Because a lot of you guys like the smaller radios and don't want to lug around the bigger radio. It's kind of nice to have in the uh, passive loop nearby if you want to see how far you can push the little guys. Just picking up some music I hear on WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. It's another one I want to check with the loop. Yeah, what a difference with that loop. Very nice. Without the loop? Okay, let's keep going. CGO, Evanston, Illinois. Okay, just picking up the low power hazardous road out of Lake County. County next to me. Let's go ahead and keep going. Pretty tone on 1640 WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. Let's see if the proves of the birdie tone gets worse with the loop. This should be a Madison, Wisconsin station. So it, can, it makes it listenable. That's cool. This is the zone, W O Z N, Madison, Wisconsin. So I'm guessing in the evening with all the station chatter, it's not going to be as bad with that ringtone. So. I'm hoping, yeah. I haven't found the radio though. 1680, not gonna have anything. Okay, 
Okay, music there, 1690 is WBON, Chicago, Illinois. And we should be empty on top there. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off, do some final thoughts on this. All right, there we go. Yeah, I do like that display. If you notice, it's got that nice little amber backlight there, or side light, I'm gonna call it. Um, yeah, it's it's not a bad little shirt pocket radio. Um, it is plagued with those birdie tones in the daytime reception, which is unfortunate. Even on my sh local Chicago station, like 720, my strongest station, it's kind of a bummer to hear that. But I think 670 was nice, didn't have birdie tones. There's quite a few stations that I could listen to without birdie tones, which is not bad. Um, yeah, I'm liking this radio. Uh, it's definitely um, interesting. It's thin. Again, it's, it's just the right size to hold on to. It's not too small. It's not too fidgety. It's not too wide. It's like the perfect size. And it's slim slim form factor is nice. Um, FM on it is good. I was into some music stations. It picks up great on FM. I'm uh, really impressed with that. Sure, we really haven't had much time to experience that. Uh, I will uh, take it outside and see what it can do. But uh, I wasn't picking up a whole lot indoors with a wire, so I'm not sure. On the shortwave, I know the Eaton does a decent job. And believe it or not, this little Hangaranga HRD 737 does an amazing job on shortwave. A little wire attached. Just amazing that I'm able to get so many stations with the shortwave on that little guy. <clears throat> so hopefully my voice doesn't go away. <laughs> Can't be able to talk about radios. Alrighty, so there it is. The Radio Shack 2669. If you're interested in buying it, I'll have links below. Check them out. Uh, it takes you to eBay. If you find one, you buy it, great, let me know. Uh, if you have one already, let me know what you think about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's unique, it's different. Um, I like Radio Shack brand radios, and Jennifer knows it, and she keeps donating Radio Shack radios, which is awesome, so we appreciate that. Uh, two, if you're a Radio Shack fan, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of more radios, because I'm always on the lookout for Radio Shack radios. I will collect them, because they made tons of them, and I'll keep collecting them until I can't find them anymore. Um, and, of course, check out the playlist of Radio Shack radios I've reviewed in the past. Just an amazing amount of them. And diversity is really cool. You really enjoy that. And then, of course, three, comment below. You think about the uh, 2669 AM FM shortwave, short pocket radio. Um, this is a place for you. Do you think you'd enjoy having this? Let me know. All right, guys. Take care, and we'll see you next episode.